guys, um, it's me, I'm back to do another video for you, um, this time I am not pouring any resin but I will be demoulding, um, so what I have is I have just one coaster that was requested for somebody just to match with a candle that they bought, um, and I have two clocks. So these came in the post yesterday, so I set these last night, so it's time to demold them now. And I want to put them together and paint the edges. So the paints that I got are these. So this is a set um, of a mix of gold and copper and silver. I got these off Amazon as well. Um, these were great value, they were like less than 10 euro. So um, hopefully they will turn out nice. The colours look good anyway. So they come in little pots like this. So I hope that these will be good for painting the edges because I was using, um, I'll actually show you what I was using, the Posca markers. It just takes so long, especially when you're doing like edgy ones like this. Um, so I got those and I also ordered a set of small paintbrushes just to do that and actually <laughs> I thought I only ordered one, I did only order one but they sent me two so win-win. So I'm going to demold these and um, paint the edges and we'll see how that turns out. Okay I'm just going to get set up and I'll be right back. So this is my little coaster um, unmolded. So it's clear with just some rose gold flakes um, going through it. So I'm going to paint the edges of that rose gold. So I'm just gonna sit it on top of a cup, just like that to balance it. So that way I can easily turn it around to get to all the other edges. Um, It won't come out like translucent or anything that I need to do like loads of coats on it. I feel like this should be easier than doing than colouring it in with a marker. It's my aim anyway. So we'll leave that dry and then I'm going to give the co whole coaster a good clean and polish down. Um, but yeah, I'm quite happy with those paints. It's a nice vibrant rose gold kind of coppery colour. Um, covers it well. So I went over it twice. Um, so I did one stroke going that way and then went back over it going up from the bottom to the top and it covers it quite well. Um, so we'll put that on to the side and now it's time to unmold the clocks. So I was so excited to get these and they actually came a lot smaller than I thought they were going to be. So here is, this is going to be the back of them which I think looks really really nice. I don't think the front of them is going to look the same. I just did a dirty pour doing these so just gold, white and black and I literally just poured it everywhere and anywhere and used my heat gun then to blow it all in and get rid of bubbles. Um, so we'll see how this turns out. So 
So there's one with normal numbers, one, two, three, four, whatever, and there's one with Roman numerals. I actually have a little bit of rose gold paint on my hand there that I just need to get off, or I will get it on this cloth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the edges, actually, I don't know will I leave the edges, I might just paint the numbers in gold, so the numbers actually come out in like 3D, so you know they sit into it, into the mould. So I'm going to do the same again, I have a nice skinny brush there. I'm going to sit this on a cup like so and I'm going to paint the numbers in gold so there's a few different styles of gold so there's three different ones I actually think those two are the same are they? I'm just close to what I have there this one If I can bloody get things open, they are so tight. Oh my goodness. Okay, give me a sec. Okay, I got it. We're in business. Need to work on them guns. <laughs> I'm literally just going to paint the very top of the Actually, the coaster is like fully cured, rock hard. They're all from the same batch of resin. I wonder, is it the paint that I used that is causing this to be still a little bit bendy? I mixed our acrylic paint in to make the black and white because I find the alcohol inks are translucent. Oh, this one has a lot more gold in the front. It's a little bit bendy too still, so just got to be careful. So which side is one oh, yeah, there? Okay. So this is the Roman numerals one. So that one actually has a lot more gold going through it, which I really like. It's nice very pretty. So I'm going to do the numbers on this in gold again. So the same colour. Um, let's see how it goes. And then once those are dry we can add the actual clock handles to it. 
and set them up nicely to take some photos of the finished product. So there is that one done too. So personally, I think they look absolutely amazing and I am so happy with how they came out. The clocks are very thin though as you can see so that one is the two of them actually are still a little bit bendy so I'm just going to lie them on flat surfaces. I might leave them cure a little bit further overnight. Um, the best thing to do really I think is to leave them on grease proof kitchen paper to leave them cure a little bit further. Um, but anyway moral of this video was to you know kind of show you what I do with the edges of my things and um, to show you these new paints that I got which I am super happy with and um, so I ordered those off Amazon um, I am based in Ireland I usually always order off Amazon UK which has always been fantastic for me but now Brexit has hit and they are super slow and um, so I ordered these ones these bits from amazon.de this time and I found that very very good and um, the bits were here within a week there was no customs charges nothing everything was fine with those um, and I actually have something else to show you guys that I made during the week which I'm super super proud of I'm just gonna go and get it Okay, so I made this during the week. This is my very first canvas art piece. Um, and I'm so happy with how it came out. So here it is. It is the galaxy style canvas. Um, so you can see I have the stars and the different colors. So I have purple, blue, green. Um, there's a mix in there can mostly see the purple and the green there's tints of blue in through it and um, just to blend it all into kind of the galaxy theme and then the strip of gold down through the middle which I think just adds that extra vibrant color and I also put some extra chunky stars in around the middle here just to make it look like you know the kind of core of the galaxy um, so I also have coasters in this style which came out really really good I'll upload a picture now for you be doing a video on how I did this effect this weekend so hopefully I will have that uploaded Sunday evening so if you like this and if you liked this video please hit the like button if you have any comments or anything please be feel free to share your suggestions and help um, and uh, don't forget to subscribe thanks a million